in with Marty Bass. Hey, Martin. Hey, Jim. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you're doing well. This is Zachary Singer. Zach is an archaeologist for the state of Maryland. First off, we're at St. John's Western Run Parish in Green Spring Valley, an Episcopalian uh, 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 facility. They go, this wall goes back to like 1842, founded in 1816. I didn't know that the state had archaeologists. Yes, we have archaeologists at the Maryland Historical Trust as well as the State Highway Administration. Now, the reason we're out here is that State Highways was doing some work out here in Green Spring Valley, and they uncovered something of interest. They did. They uncovered a chipping debris from stone tool production, which seems to be 13,000 years old. Roll that around in your brain. 13,000 years ago, there was a small quarry out here in Green Spring Valley, and the indigenous people here at that time found it and made tools? Correct. They were making hunting tools and scraping tools. They were using stone tools as their everyday working implements. We're talking basically not that far away from the last ice age. That's right. 13,000 years ago. Okay, how did, do you, do you all accompany road crews? How did someone say, well, that, that rock may not be a, a rock, that may be a tool? Sure. So archaeologists are trained to recognize artifacts, both stone tools and historic artifacts. And so ahead of the highway construction, there were archaeologists to make sure that the artifacts and material culture would be preserved. Does that happen all over, all over the state? There's going to be a new road project and you accompany the, the advanced crews? Sure. Yeah. The State Highway Administration and their archaeologists do that. I had absolutely no idea. How many people in your department? At the Maryland Historical Trust, we have five archaeologists, and there are more at the State Highway Administration. I, I, and there are more at State Highway. Who knew? A, a total of how many do you think? I think Round they, number. they have uh, probably 10 there. That is, I, I had, K2's going behind the camera. Wow, we had no idea. And just across the street from St. John's Western Run, there was a small quarry. It's overgrown right now. We'd be standing there, but you, you really wouldn't see anything. But coming up next half hour... We're going to show you some objects Zach has brought to look at that date back to just after the last ice age here in Green Spring Valley. I'm looking forward to it. That is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for joining us, Zach. We really, really appreciate it. Coming up, some pretty cool stuff. With state archaeologist Zachary, we call him Zach Singer. We want to thank, <coughs> excuse me, St. John's Western Run. Episcopal uh, congregation for letting us uh, use their, their property here to get ready to show what you have brought us. These were collected from what was a quarry across the street. These go back to 10,000 B.C. That's right. These were found across the street. These are Chalcedony artifacts from chipping to make stone tools 13,000 years ago. There's two things I find incredible. One is that state highways in the state of Maryland have archaeologists that go out with crews just in case, but also that you would know these were, how do you know these are 13,000 years old? These go back to 10,000 BC. So we know these stone tools date to that age based on finding them in association with fireplaces, which can be radiocarbon dated. So based on their styles and their association, we know how old they are. That is incredible. So you're, 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 you're a sleuth. You're doing, you're doing detective work. One fact begets another, begets another, begets another. So across the street, you found what would have been encampments. We did. We found Crazy. Yeah. We found evidence where people were making stone tools and taking them to go live their daily lives 13,000 years ago. Just after the last ice age. Now what? We have one minute left. What happened to the people who lived here? Where did they go? Sure. So there are still Native American people present in Maryland today, and so these would be their very distant relatives. That's incredible. This on camera's far right, that would have been the chipping stone. The rest of this would have been debris from making tools. That's right. So we found a scraping tool that was used probably to scrape hides to make clothing 13,000 years ago. That is just unbelievable. So real quick, what will happen to these now? Do they go on display? Do they go into a drawer? What happens? They get preserved and curated at the Maryland Archaeological Conservation Laboratory. That's wild. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate all the work you did behind the scenes with our man back at TV Hill. 
Matt Wilson, because it took a while to get this all set up. You're getting ready to do a, another dig. We're going to drill down how many feet? We're going to be in Cumberland with the paleo digger drilling down 10 feet to find additional 13,000 year old artifacts. That is unbelievable. And if you find something cool, we'll have you come back on and, we'll, and we'd love for you to join us again. Sounds great. Unbelievable. I always like to say what you're going to find in your own backyard. Literally what we found in our own backyard. Back to TV Hill.